When Bino turned three, his mom decided that she wanted him to go to an international school in Timor-Leste. An international school is not like a regular public school. Going to a public school in Timor-Leste doesn't cost any money and the teachers speak Portuguese. Going to an international school, however, costs money and the teachers speak English. Bino's mom wanted him to learn English, so she asked his dad to find an international school in Dili, the capital of Timor-Leste where they lived. Bino's dad found several international schools, but they were all too expensive. Then he walked past a Seventh-day Adventist church. He saw a sign on the church fence advertising the Timor Adventist International School. A phone number was on the sign, and he called for more information. To his delight, he learned that they could afford to send Bino to the school. Bino's parents were not Adventist, but they had heard about Adventists before. His mom's uncle was an Adventist. Bino started to study at the Adventist school. He quickly began to learn English, and because of him, his mom did too. Every day when Bino came home from school, she asked him to teach her the English words that he was learning at school. Hello, said Bino. Hello, his mom repeated. Goodbye, Bino said. Goodbye, she repeated. As the weeks and months passed, their English lessons grew more complicated. I love you, Bino said. I love you, his mom exclaimed. English was not the only thing that Bino taught her after school. Every day, Bino heard Bible stories from his teachers, and he told his mom about David and Goliath, Jonah and the big fish, and Jesus and the little boy whose lunch fed more than 5,000 people. She loved hearing her little boy tell Bible stories. Bino's parents began reading the Bible. Sometimes they had questions about what they were reading, so they talked with the pastor of the Adventist church near Bino's school and an American missionary who also lived on the island. The pastor and the missionary visited Bino's house regularly. The day came that Bino's parents were baptized and joined the Adventist church. Today, Bino not only goes to the Adventist school, but his parents go to the school too. They work as the school's caretakers. Because of the school, the whole family now speaks English. But more importantly, they love Jesus with all their hearts. A few years ago, part of the 13 Sabbath offering helped open the Adventist school in Dili. This quarter, the 13 Sabbath offering will help build a dormitory so children from faraway villages can study and live at the school. Thank you for giving to this special offering.